And then you get to see some of the, the other hills now, and the mountains that are actually blocking the view to Mount McKinley now. Well, actually, maybe you can just, it might be over there. It's just, oh, it's just peak. Yeah, it's, it's right up there. That's, that's the clouds covering McKinley. Can you see the trestle? Over the top of the other mountains. And then he's just going back again the other side. There she flows again. Still got a, a cloud on it. Oh, we would just pass the highest point on the line. Oh, you saw that? Oh, the highest point. What was it? 2363 feet. 2363. Wow. Wow. Well, that thing over there is like 20,000 feet, so it's 10, 10 times higher, right? To yeah. the south, creeks and rivers flow into Cook Inlet and the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, Kathy's just pointed out there's a river over here which has actually got ice on it. We get our air That's because I guess we're pretty high up. Hey, another another photo opportunity for Kathy. She really likes this. And we're not too far away from the uh, Denali train station now. I think we've only got a few miles to go. In actual fact, I think we just got cell phone coverage, so we're pretty close. That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. I lived with my sister for a while and then with her three kids and then I got pretty hectic and then I just went back to the room at my mom's house because it's the easiest. <laughs> That's a pretty rocky one there. There's almost no greeny running at all, is there? Yeah, very little. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at that, on that rocky mountain over there, it's like really grey up there, isn't it? And yet, the other side of the train, over here on the sunny side, as you go over here, it's basically blue. 
and I wasn't messing with the color control there. This is the side of the tracks, you can see them merge into one. So this is a fresh water here. And this is, so this is the glacier. They both pour into the Nanana River. Right. So they meet basically here. And then the other side of the train, when they go out, over here, they merged. And that's Riley Creek, just as you get into Denali. In the depot shortly, but just getting on our bus. <laughs> yeah, the train has got uh, a lot more places to get off now. The uh, Denali station is much bigger. Oh, yeah, and of course, it's, it's past midnight in Florida now, so that's why the date suddenly changed. It's about what 9 p.m. here on the 30th. And we're in the Summit Restaurant in the Princess Denali Wilderness Lodge, which overlooks uh, a little river here. And of course, it wouldn't be a, a lodge without a nice um, mountain overlook. Yeah, Kathy just pointed out that we, uh, we can't see any houses from here. But we do actually get to see a bit of the railroad as it goes off to Denali Park Station. From our little restaurant room, restaurant with a view. Yep, yeah, that was just, that was like us just a few hours ago. But that's playing scrap. <laughs> Actually, she noticed it because I think she heard it first before we even saw it, right? Dave is basking on the afterglow of his delicious salmon and rib dinner here in the restaurant. And we're going to take a little time now and walk around the grounds and view that since we didn't get to go on the airplane, which we'll tell you about later. Well, Dave was looking long and hard for a grizzly, and he finally found one. Dave, run. I think he's going to get you. So here's Nanook of the North, outside our, uh, the, where, this is like the cabins where our room is. It's like a big uh, building, uh, nice and kind of like rustic looking, but actually quite modern, really. And then they have uh, several of these buildings nestled among the beautiful scenery here. Yeah, so, yeah, some of the older buildings look a little bit more, you know, a little bit different. So here's Nanook again, and this is kind of like a, a, uh, quite close to the river. In fact, you might be here in the background, in front of some of the cabins. So this is outside. Uh, that restaurant we were eating at earlier on. Over, we couldn't see much of the river from the restaurant. You come outside on the pathway, you can. The river, rather, yeah. There is a fair bit of white water out here. And we're on a bluff overlooking this area here. Okay, here's two things I never thought I'd see at the Denali Lodge in Alaska. One is a sprinkler, because it's supposed to rain a lot here, but I guess in central Alaska sometimes it doesn't. So it must have been pretty good weather the last few days. So that's a piece of this grass right in the front of the lodges here. And the second thing, we have like a, an eagle-eyed owl up here, guarding the hot tub. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, you guessed it, this is the restaurant we were in. They have an expensive restaurant and then a bistro, but of course we had to have the expensive one. So our table was like somewhere over there. 
I just see somebody eating now. Ooh, modern technology. They actually have their own satellite dish. Well, of course. They've got an internet connection, just like all the princess ships. I'm surprised Kathy came out. It's pretty windy tonight. It's amazing what she'll do for me. And this is like the main lodge where they have like the uh, check in and they run the tours and things. Dave is here bonding with all the local wildlife. And this would be actually one of the few moose we get to see the front of it. It's a beautiful bronze moose. Yeah, normally we get to see their butt as they run off back into the wilderness. We ended up, we ended up getting a pretty c c uh, close room, in fact, look. That's our building there. Now, right now it's 11.07, starting to get a bit dusky. And um, the sun is going to set at 11.44 p.m. tonight. But I won't be around to film that because I'm going to go to bed. So. This is so weird. Because. We had, a, we had a video from like a few years ago and there was a moose in exactly the same position. <laughs> it's weird. It's still on flash thing. She's showing you the best side. <laughs> So yeah, we're on another bus. That is so weird. Kathy? <laughs> yeah, he's chomping down there. We see. The best picture I got. Yeah, we just went in here to see a like film about how the road was built to go into the park, and we haven't come that far because that's uh, on the other side of the road from our hotel. There's another lodge that overlooks the area here. Colorado. So we're hitting the tree line now. Anybody been to Colorado? Yeah. Do you know what elevation out. tree line is in Colorado? It's like 10, 11,000 feet. Yeah. Oh. Tree line here is about 2,300 feet. And that's because we're so much farther north on the globe, the angle of the earth, the angle of the sun, longer, colder winters, shorter summers, permafrost. These trees need an average of 50 degrees in July Sweetie. to survive. Get me. So yeah, this is the start of the Alaska Range. It goes a few, a few hundred miles out kind of northwest. Of course, McKinley's part of it. Well, Mount McKinley does create its own weather since it is covered year-round in ice and snow. <laughs> but I'll point out where we would be able to see it if it was a crystal clear day. And just about as wide. That mountain that's covered in the clouds is about eight miles away. And yeah, Mount McKinley, as I mentioned, is 70. Now, to give you an idea on how big that mountain really is, 
You guys try this. Take your finger and place it on top of this flat top mountain out here. Gotta get it all. <laughs> okay, honey. Do a little dance? <laughs> Now this river out here on the left that we're starting to see is called the Savage River, named after a man named Carl Savage, an early prospector here. And the Savage River is a glacially fed river, also called a braided river. And what's happening is this river is flowing down from the glaciers across this wide valley, carrying with it all kinds of sediment and debris. And as the glacier, or as the water flows down, this sediment slowly starts to filter out, building that riverbed up higher and higher and higher, making that water constantly shift and change and take these different paths. Now, what do you guys think about that river down there? It doesn't look that impressive, does it? Looks pretty dry. Have you ever tried to cross one of those rivers? They can actually be the most dangerous rivers in the world to cross. Not only because it's glacially fed and that water is about 36 degrees, those currents can be strong enough to take down full-grown moose and full-grown grizzly bears. And that water can be so deep that by taking one step off the side of the river bar into the water, you can easily be worth about 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use them as bait. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he goes, there he goes. It's that Ar Arctic ground squirrel, right? Was it? Look at him. When we were in these gatherings, we have these big meetings, and our chiefs would stand up and talk to us. They'd pick a hill nearby and say, I am as strong as that mountain, I'm as strong as that hill, and there's no earthquake, no wind can blow me, no earthquake can move me. It can shake and blow, and I'll still be standing here. They say, that's the way we want you to be. They say to us younger folks, we want you to be that way, and put a lot more into the Indian culture, into our, our Athabascan culture. Okay, right up there we have some dull sheep, but to you they probably look like dull dots. There's like three in the middle, and one, and then another one. So uh, it's really far away, on the top. Look, honey, you grizzly bear. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> this is the closest we've seen one. It's on page 42 of the, of the bus handout. <laughs> Willow tarp again, the state bird. In Alaska, state bird. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, this is how he has feathers all down his legs onto his feet. There's another hoary marmot. That's like the one I got within five feet on the top of Mount Roberts, but he's about 20 feet away from the bus. Is he still sitting there? Is he still sitting there? Yeah. Oh, he's really come out for us, hasn't he? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, standing up. I didn't realize they train them that well up here. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. Are you looking at me? Really? Oh, really? Um, um, yeah, the, 
It's is shrouded in mist, isn't it? Alright, that's Hurricane Gulch. I'm in the lobby of the lodge. Um, we came back after a tour from Denali. We have to wait for our transfer now to Mount McKinley. And they have a nice, uh, quite a large room. Here's the reception desk here. And as I pan across, you go downstairs to some fast food restaurants. I want to take a picture of this chandelier they have. They have made a lot of things uh, look like antlers and horns and things out of iron. And this they've made uh, quite a bit of uh, this very small. Thing. Okay, another day, another coach. Off to Mount McKinley. Yeah, this is uh, the other side of the road from uh, into Princess Denali Lodge. They have a uh, sort of their downtown Denali, I guess. A few restaurants and gas stations and um, right, tour awesome offices job. for certain things. Do you ever want to join us here at the Denali Texas Lodge? Oh, yeah. yeah. Great. But we are traveling on the Parks Highway. It's our main highway system connecting Fairbanks to Anchorage. And we'll be traveling about uh, maybe about 100 miles down the road. So. Right now I have the temperature set at a comfortable 66 degrees. Ooh, I'm in Alaska, so that feels balmy to me. Uh, if it gets a little bit too cold or too hot, just let me know and I can adjust to your liking as best I can. Okay, here's some things to do at Denali that we didn't get to do. Oh, okay, uh, there you rafting, go. <laughs> okay. and you can also take a helicopter ride. I can't help. Okay, so yes. that's our... He's laying down, right? That's our first so caribou. Got it. Oh, it, yeah, you got his... Uh, Handlers, right? You can see the handlers. The biggest one. Just in front of the biggest tree. The right. There goes, what is that? Is that Rudolph? He's beautiful. That's our first caribou. That's right. Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay, honey. We saw them all. We did the Grand Slam. Perfect. <laughs> 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 